Integrity is what you do when you are not aware that your children or spouse are looking and listening. The person of integrity will still behave himself or herself even when nobody is watching, even when the world is not watching. That's integrity. We are more intoxicated about our reputation than our character. You know why? Reputation is what people think you are. But character is what you are in the eyes of God. And I hereby challenge all of us that our lives must be lives of integrity. We think the measure of a man are the letters behind his name. We think the measure of a man is his exposure. The countries he's been to. And there's nothing wrong with all of these beautiful things. We think the measure of a man are the accolades that decorate his life. We think the measure of a man are all of these beautiful things like eloquence, education, and there is nothing wrong with that, by the way. But the full measure of a man's character, what will you do if you knew you'd never be found out? The measure of a man is what you do when you check in that private hotel while you're on a business trip. That is what defines who you truly are. Let me make it clear. What defines a man are not his deeds in public, but his deeds in private. Yes. You see, you can talk about integrity the way I'm talking about, but it's useless if you can't practice it. If your enemies were out to get you, and did an audit of your lifestyle in that department where you're working from, could they find room to criticize you? Now, this is a million dollar question right there. If my enemies, and make no mistake, all of us here have got some enemies. Some of them are not just known. You will discover them. Some of them eat with you. Some of them smile with you. Some of them work with you. I'm saying if you ain't got no enemies, you are yet to discover them because this is the kind of world we live in. There are people that hate you for no reason. There are people that hate you because of the shoes you wear. There are people that hate you because of the vehicle that you drive. There are people that hate you because you are blessed. Integrity is the first step to true greatness. Integrity is the foundation that holds society together. Integrity, honesty, high moral values is what we need in leadership today.